let's begin to demystify the powers of Python. Python is an interpreted language. Another computer program, called an interpreter, reads our code, line by line, translating it into code that our specific computer can understand, and then executes it. This means your program can run on any machine. The translation process does make the language slower. Python has a simple syntax. The syntax is the grammar of the language. Python is also very popular. It is useful for text manipulation and data analysis. The disadvantages are that it is slow and errors are harder to catch. A function is a named piece of code that performs a task. Let's call a predefined function in Python. You can use a function call to use functions. Type the function name and place parenthesis after it. Any data you would like the function to use should go in the parenthesis. We call this data, arguments. If we would like to place text in our program, we will call it a string literal. You can place them in double quotes or triple double quotes. You can place them in apostrophes too. Triple apostrophes will also suffice. The print function prints out a line of text. Place a string literal in there as an argument. This is the data the function will use. And that is our very first gloriously executed program. Here we printed two lines with two function calls, ring ring. Always use comments. This is an end of line comment. Anything after the hash is ignored by the interpreter. It documents what our code is doing. It will be helpful as our code gets complex. Let's print this out because I am a 1000 year old computer assistant. Oops, there was an error. Our argument was enclosed in double quotes, but we placed other double quotes in the string literal. Let's use apostrophes to put our string literal in. Remember to remove the apostrophe within the string literal by saying, I am, instead of its abbreviation. Let's do this again, but this time put double quotes and an apostrophe in our string literal. We can do this by putting our literal in triple quotes. Notice I placed a space here, after the double quote. This keeps the interpreter from thinking it is part of the triple quotes. Later in this series, we will learn a more elegant way to deal with such issues. Thanks ever so much for watching. Check out the playlist in the description for more Python videos.